a Brexit deal has finally been agreed, Boris Johnson announced this afternoon. So what happens next after the UK reached an agreement with the EU? Officials have finally ironed out the final details of a post-Brexit trade deal between the UK and the European Union. EU officials recently stated trade talks had slowed on the issue of fishing, but after 24 hours of tense negotiations, a Brexit deal has finally been agreed between Britain and Brussels. Speaking this afternoon, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said the deal was good for the whole of Europe, while European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen added it was a fair and balanced agreement. Mr. Johnson said, we have completed the biggest deal yet worth £668 billion a year. A comprehensive Canada-style deal between the UK and the EU. A deal that will protect jobs across this country, that will enable UK goods to be sold without tariffs, without quotas in the EU market. A deal which will allow our companies to do even more business with our European friends. The bombshell announcement came after weeks of speculation that the UK could leave the transition period behind without a deal, but the two sides managed to make substantial progress in recent days. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and Boris Johnson are reported to have spoken four times on December 23 to help get a deal over the line, according to BBC political editor Laura Kunzberg. The deal will now need to be approved by several elected officials within the UK and the EU. With the deal being signed off on December 24, Christmas Eve, it leaves very little time until December 31 when the post-Brexit transition period ends. Now that the UK-EU negotiations have come to an agreement, the EU member state leaders must now approve it via the European Council. The agreement of a deal between the two sides may mean the EU has to agree to a provisional application of the deal on January 1. Members of the European Parliament MEPs, will then be able to vote on the deal later in the month retrospectively. In the UK, MPs will need to approve the agreement as well. The Prime Minister said he hoped there would be a parliamentary vote on the deal on December 30. In order for the agreement to be ratified and become legislation, the agreement will have to be approved by both the House of Commons and the House of Lords. As MPs are currently on recess for Christmas, they will need to be recalled in order to vote on the agreement.